Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Venue 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set up the watch without connecting it to a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Let's start by turning on the watch. To do it, press and hold the action button, the upper button. Keep holding it until you see the uh, Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until it boots up. And once it boot up, boots up, you will see the hello message on the screen. Once you see it, you can press uh, any of the buttons, I believe, to continue and then you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it to select it. As you can see now, we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so we're gonna select a um, uh, yes option. We're gonna tap on the check mark and then you will see the QR code on the screen. This means that the watch is in the, in the pairing mode and you can use the QR code to download the application. Basically, you can scan the QR code with the phone's camera to direct you to the app, but I'm just gonna open the Google Play Store and find it there. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store, tap on search and type in uh, Garmin Connect and then tap on search. And once you find the Garmin Connect app on the list, tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button. After the application opens, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. And if you don't have an account, you can always create a new one by tapping on create account. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on uh, sign in right here, check the box, uh, tap on next, enter the email and password. and then tap on next to continue. Okay. After you log in, you will see some pop-ups about permissions. If you see them, allow the permissions because they're required, like that. And then the app should detect your watch. As you can see, it exited the pairing mode. Let's tap on check mark to confirm again. And once the app detects your watch, tap on connected, tap on allow, Tap on pair. Tap on next. Here we can uh, set up a sleeping schedule. This is useful for uh, tracking a sleep and also um, if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. So basically if you want that, don't want to be disturbed by notifications and stuff like that during the sleep. If you want to set up the during um, uh, sleeping schedule, simply tap on edit right here and tap on bedtime to adjust the bedtime, then on the wake time to adjust the wake time, and then you can select the specific days if you want to, to check them or uncheck them. And once you're done, you can tap on save, and then you can tap on next. Here we can select the preferred hand, or wrist rather, then tap next. Right here we can set up a step goals, or different goals. If you want to set them up, tap on edit my goals. If you don't care, you can tap on keep default goals. So to edit the goals, you can simply uh, tap on Auto or Custom, change the value like that. And then once you adjust the values to the ones you want, you can tap on Next. Here we have the notification access. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your uh, phone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can skip it and keep it denied. I'm going to allow it. Next, we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to track your activities on the map. So for example, let's say you went cycling and you want to check your route and your progression on the map, you need to allow the location permission. If you don't care, you can skip it and keep it denied. But if you want to allow the uh, permission, oh my bad, I skipped it, but basically it will direct you 
to the app info, you need to tap on permissions and uh, select the location and then tap on allow location. That's how, it, how you allow it, basically. Okay, next we have the calendar access. And here um, you can allow or deny the calendar access. This is useful if you want to track the events from your calendar on your watch and stuff like that. So if you want to use this, tap on allow. If you don't care, um, keep it denied. Then we have call log access. If you want to receive the notifications about calls and who's calling you, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can uh, deny it. Next, we have the phone call access. Again, notifications and stuff like that. Allow it or deny it. Then we have the messages. This is for SMS stuff. If you want to see the notifications uh, on the watch, you need to allow it. If you don't care, you can keep it denied. And finally, you can tap on sync now. Then tap finish. And here you have a tutorial how to use the watch. And you can go through it by tapping on next. I'm just going to tap on skip then finish. And we can also set up Wi-Fi. So if you want to connect your venue free to Wi-Fi, you can tap add network. If you don't care, you can tap on set up Wi-Fi later and do it later if you want to. I'm going to add it. So I'm going to tap on add network. It's going to start looking for the nearby networks. Once it finds the network, you can tap on it to select it. Enter the password. And then you can tap on the check mark, then next. And it should connect to the network. Like this. Then you can tap on next. Finish. You have a tutorial of the watch if you want to. I'm going to tap on the X to skip it. Then tap on that now. Got it. And you should see the My Day page. And also you should see the uh, Venue Free right here icon of it. And you can tap on this icon to open the device page for your Venue Free. You can also open this page by tapping on More, uh, scrolling down and tapping on Garmin Devices. Right here. And then tapping on Venue Free, of course. My bad. Okay, so, th so, th so that's how you pair the watch through the setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect it from our phone and pair it through the uh, settings. Okay, let's disconnect, forget. Okay. So to connect it through the settings, you basically need to enter the pairing mode on your watch and then you can basically repeat the steps as we did before. So I'm gonna uh, wake up the screen on our watch, then press and hold the uh, back button to open the menu. Then we can scroll down, tap on settings, scroll down, find the option called system and select it and system find the connectivity and tap on it and here tap on per phone it's gonna enter the pairing mode and now basically we need to open the app if you install the app uh, for the first time you will need to log in and then it will detect the watch automatically probably or it should at least and but if it doesn't you can always tap on plus button here or tap on more garmin devices and add device and it's gonna detect the watch here tap on connect it allow and basically repeat the steps as we did before so you can tap on pair next set up the uh, sleeping schedule the preferred wrist goals oh. uh, location access you, you can allow it or deny it like that Sync now and finish. I'm gonna skip the tutorial, finish, and we can add the network this time. I'm just gonna skip it and then tap on finish. Okay, as you can see now, the watch is connected to our phone. So that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.